here I want to begin working with the data that I got from this site. So www.tennisdata.co.uk The links in the description below the video. We just read in the file that we get from Tennis Data, which was 2016.csv, using the read.csv command. I think I actually loaded in an Excel file, so then I opened that in Excel and saved that as CSV. But it's not comp it's not complicated. That loads in the data into a variable. So I just called it tennis data. And we can see it here. Just go view tennis data to end up with this. So we can see all the information that's there. It has nearly, slightly more than two and a half thousand games. For each game, it says, you know, where it was played, the tournament name, the date, the, uh, indoor, outdoor for courts, what the surface was. So hard clay. The name of the winner, the name of the loser, it was best of three, the rank of the winner, the rank of the loser, and so on. So for every set, it gives the scores. So there's lots there. I also like the, the fact it has the odds because that is a very good predictor. Typically the, the favorite wins. And it even gives what the max odds were for the winner. So I haven't actually studied that yet. I think I plotted it in the last, in the previous video when I looked at this data because that's interesting if the max odds say tend to be 20 30 percent higher so here here it went up to 1.76 it was 1.66 at the start so i could just take the odds that were offered at the start but say i was using betfair or betdax you know, a betting exchange, I might want to have put in an order saying if the odds for this guy goes up to 1.7 or 1.8, then make the bet. And that would have, say, worked here. It was 1.72 at the start, but it actually went up all the way to 1.9. This went up to 1.93. So does it typically go up by 10, 20%? That adds up. Of course, you're not always going to get it. So if it was 1.33 at the start for the favorite to win, and I said, oh, I'll, if it goes to 1.5, then I'll make the bet. But it never reached 1.5. So then I would have missed out on this game altogether. So that would be something that I'll uh, have a look at, you know, just to study what the probabilities are. So what would be the smart bet to make? But that isn't what I wanted to look at here. I wanted to see how we can play around with this file to get interesting results. So, you know, 
I have read in the data. Now I'm going to mess around a bit. So what I this has all the games in, in it. And I can see, oh that's very interesting. But I want to answer um I want to provide insight. I want to add value. I mean, what, what did I gain by having this data? What am I able to do that I otherwise couldn't have? So what I did was use the subset command. What that lets us do is take a data set, in this case tennis data, with every game played in the professional men's game in 2016, or something like that, then extract, process that data to answer a question. What or how often in the men's game in a best of three sets match, so not a Grand Slam, how often do we get a 2 nil result? So you know we've got enough games here. Our games typically Two one, or are they two nil more often than that? Well, using the subset command, I can ask. Look at the data. So tennis data has all the matches. I want best of to equal three, since one of the fields is you know whether it's best of three or five and then l sets equal zero so that's i want the loser to have not won any set which means the winner in it won like two sets to nil so i just type that And all the matches that were played in 2016, where the match was a best of three, and the winner, like the loser, didn't win a single set, are picked out. And they're all, then that's put into the variable temp. So if I go to temp, these games are best of three which is what I asked. I'll just look ahead to see at least all the ones I see here are best of three. And then I just want to see that these games were two set games. So I want the loser to have L set to equal zero. So what happened here? In the first game, the, the winner won 6-3-7-6, 6-2-6-4. So none of them have a third set. And I can see L sets is equal to zero for all these games, which is what I wanted. And I can see it didn't pick every game, like two is missing. 7 is missing, 10 is missing, so this command, the subset command, let me pick out all the 3 set games where the winner won 2-0. Likewise, I can pick out all the games which were best of 3. So I put that into temp2.
now, if I want to know what the probability of a game being 2-0 in a men's game, which is the, a best of three, well then I can just count how many games in, in temp, so how many games which were best of three, which were two zero games, and how many games overall. Temp two is all the games which were best of three. And so, so the probability of a men's game being 2-0 is this. So that's the kind of thing that we can do with the data that we have. We can go further, which I cover in later videos. So for example, what about if I only look at games where the winner had a rank which was 50 better than the loser, or 50 or more better? How does that affect the probabilities? In that, in that way, I'm hoping to get better estimates of probabilities and then look at uh, on Betfair or whatever betting markets to find opportunity, to find value bets, to find bets where I can see from the data. So what difference does the surface make? Is it different on clay courts than hard courts? Is it different indoor, outdoor? Is it different for particular players? That's when I can see, oh yes, this is adding value. By looking at the data, I have a better idea of what's going to happen. And the people, other, other people who, have, who haven't done this uh, research, this work, are making wild guesses. And so I can make money from that. So we'll come back to that later. Thanks.